Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Are you interested in learning about a groundbreaking method that could enhance collagen peptides, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and potentially reduce the risk of chronic diseases? If so, you have to watch this video. Okay? We'll dive into an exciting new study that exposes a fascinating way to make collagen peptides even more effective. If you're interested in collagen peptides, you will want to take advantage of this. So let's discuss the study. When our bodies experience oxidative stress, it can lead to chronic inflammation and increase our risk of developing diseases such as heart disease, neurodegenerative disease, cancer, and many more. To combat oxidative stress, researchers have been studying the natural antioxidants found in food, like collagen. Collagen is a natural substance that can be broken down into smaller parts called peptides, which have been found to help fight off oxidative stress and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Researchers have been trying to enhance these collagen peptides antioxidant properties using a pulse electric field, they even use microwave, irradiation, and even ultrasound. However, they have found that these methods only have a limited success because of the structure of the peptides. So they have been exploring other ways to improve the, these peptides, such as metal, metal chelation, where metal ions are used to help stabilize the structure of the peptides. So what did the researchers test in this study? Okay. In this study, the researchers wanted to see if they could improve the antioxidant activity of collagen peptides by adding different types of metal ions to them. They chose five particular metal ions to test. Calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium, and copper. They found that copper and zinc work well together with collagen peptides, followed by magnesium, calcium, and iron. However, when they tested the free radical scavenging ability of the five different types of collagen metal ion mixtures, they found that the collagen and magnesium combination was the best at eliminating free radicals. The collagen peptide with calcium combination also worked well, but less effectively than the collagen peptide with magnesium. So they decided to focus on how collagen peptides and magnesium could protect cells from damage caused by oxidation. As a quick side note, free radicals are unstable molecules in your body that can damage your cells and contribute to health problems like inflammation, aging, and diseases. Okay, now let's get back to the study. As you can see in the chart, the results clearly show that the collagen slash magnesium mixture had the highest free radical scavenging activity. Look at the highlighted parts. Okay, now followed by the collagen slash calcium combination circled in red. Big second. Okay. The researchers then tested if the collagen and magnesium combo could be effective against inflammation. It is well established that too much inflammation and stress in the body are associated with chronic diseases. I mean, this is well known. And two major contributing factors are oxidative stress and what's called pro-inflammatory cytokines. As a side note, cytokines are proteins that help control inflammation in our body and pro-inflammatory cytokines worsen diseases or medical conditions. One of these pro-inflammatory cytokines is called tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNFA for short, which can worsen inflammation by activating specific cells in our body called macrophages. A significant increase in pro-inflammatory cytokines like TNFA can cause severe damage to our bodies, including tissue destruction, and in some cases, shock and death. In this study, the researchers wanted to see if collagen peptide and collagen peptides with magnesium could help reduce the amount of TNFA in these particular cells. They found that both collagen peptides alone and collagen peptide with magnesium could reduce the amount of TNFA, but the collagen peptide with magnesium combo was even more effective. Take a look at the highlighted parts in this graph. The results clearly show collagen slash magnesium reduced TNFA the most. So, in conclusion, the study looked at ways to fight against the damage caused by oxidative stress, which is a problem in many chronic diseases. 
They tested how magnesium can work with collagen peptides to protect cells and eliminate free radicals that cause damage. They found that magnesium can attach to collagen peptides and change their structure, making them better at eliminating free radicals. The collagen peptides with magnesium ions were also effective at stopping inflammation, which is vital in fighting diseases caused by oxidative stress. The results suggest combining collagen peptides and metals like magnesium could be a new way to fight against oxidative stress, inflammation, and chronic diseases. So, what will I do with the findings of this study? Fortunately, nothing. Let me explain. I have already been taking collagen peptides and magnesium for over six months. They are two ingredients I include in my longevity concoction. These are the two supplements I use. I have been taking 20 milligrams, 20 grams, excuse me, of Vital Proteins collagen peptides, okay, twice daily, by the way. I'm sure you guys know about this, this one here, okay, and one teaspoon of magnesium powder twice daily, okay. The magnesium I take contains 250 milligrams of pure elemental magnesium per teaspoon, as you can see in the label, okay. I chose magnesium bisglycinate because it's scientifically proven to have excellent bioavailability. It reaches your blood, okay, and fewer side effects than all other forms of magnesium. This is not a sponsored video. I am simply showing the brands I take. Since taking these supplements, I've had no pains in my body like I used to. And there's little pains while you work out. I can train more, longer and I recuperate faster. This is the first winter I could remember that I haven't even gotten sniffles, let alone a cold. And I am outside most of the day in freezing weather. This is not a placebo effect, since I just learned of this study, and I am so glad that I found this study. If you found this video helpful and informative, remember to like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more future unique videos on health span and lifespan and longevity. Please always consult a medical provider and nutritionist before taking any supplements to determine if they are right for you. Have a great day. Stay healthy, everyone. See you soon in my next video. Stay